Hello and welcome to presentation about Mirror Cache. My name is Andri Nikitin. I am member of Build OBS team. My team is responsible for infrastructure behind Open Build service in its open source and internal source. So, Mirror Cache. Mirror Cache is Mirror Redirector. It means that it has a list of mirrors configured and it accepts client requests and for each request it tries to find suitable mirror. It should consider several aspects when selecting suitable mirrors. First of all, it must be sure that mirror has a requested resource. It should uh, consider geographical location so the mirror is the closest to client as possible. Uh, should consider request type. So if request comes over secure protocol, it must sh be sure that uh, mirror can operate with the secure protocol. Because sometimes some mirrors they can serve request only over HTTP. Sometimes some mirrors they have certificates ex expired, so but they are still useful for HTTP handling, etc. It also should consider stability of mirrors. So if mirror is on and off, it is probably not to redirect request to it. And if no suitable mirror found, then sometimes the redirector can serve request on itself and sometimes it has default location configured and it redirects the request there. Uh, now regarding OpenSUSE and package updates. Uh, they are happening with Zuper utility and Zuper communicates with download OpenSUSE.org and below you can see request which is very similar uh, to what Zuper does. You can try it in your command line and in this uh, case download OpenSUSE org replies with redirection status code so basically the request is redirected to a mirror that it's actually German mirror if you try the same request in your country you can be redirected probably to another mirror that is close to you and we must say that this system is very dynamic uh, there's a lot of packages, a lot of different projects and the new packages released every hour. Um, they are synced, some mirrors get updates faster, some mirrors get updates slower, some mirrors go down, some mirrors return up. So it's quite a challenge to have all information intact and um, <coughs> serve requests in optimal way. Um, and this regard was mentioned uh, life cycle basically of package. It gets built uh, in open build service at build open source org. Then it slowly synced to all the mirrors. Then it eventually discovered by special scripts and then registered in database. I will mention about this discovery a bit later and. Uh, after uh, the package is registered in database for a particular mirror, that mirror is ready to serve request and future uh, requests from client can be redirected to, to this mirror. And also we must mention this topic that Zipper uses special metalink format when it expects replies from download OpenSUSE.org. It doesn't change much. Uh, the, the only difference that it has metadata and a list of mirrors. But if you are on this presentations, uh, on this presentation, you probably better to know what what is meta link, and that Zuper uses it. Here comes Mirror Brain. It is 
current backend behind download opensource.org that is responsible for communication with Zuper. And uh, it has, it is basically a patches model uh, that communicates to database and it also has scanner script that goes all over the mirrors and uh, register updates in database. This is discovery that was mentioned before. Uh, so mirror brain is very simple and um, it has simple approach and good project that was serving for years, but there were reasons, complex reasons to look into alternative solution and they're so complex that I can deliver a dedicated presentation about it, so I will skip at this point. And we will have a look what mirror cache brings into play. So mirror cache is also mirror redirector and it's planet backend to replace mirror brain. Uh, mirror cache brings job queue. Um, so it will have workers, uh, new workers can be added if needed, all the workers will pick up jobs according to priority, maybe to some other parameters. Jobs will have own status, so it's easy to see failed jobs, it is easy to retry jobs, it is easy to reprioritize jobs or maybe cancel some jobs and it's more suitable in troubleshooting to see what what's going on so basically it's the tool that brings confidence and uh, allows to manage uh, what's manage things more smoothly because it's a lot of going on and it's sometimes quite hard to find which errors are relevant for, for, and um, to understand wh where the problems come from. So this also makes mirror cache less dependent on rescan of mirrors because uh, mirror brain currently scans over and over huge locations that basically never updated and um, it is waste of resources and with, and with mirror cache uh, it, it more reacts on what's going on on front end so if clients request some unknown files that mirror cache is not aware of it will automatically schedule some jobs that will fix and register those files uh, I will mention the, about this the, uh, automatic discovery on the next slide. Also, Mirror Cache brings proper handling of HTTPS and IPv6 requests. And this is something with, which Mirror Cache struggles with. Also, Mirror, mirror Brain struggles. Uh, mirror Cache is a rich web application, so it, it has some forms, web forms for editing or adding new mirrors. It also has some forms from, for statistics or um, maybe troubleshooting or logging. Um, and all the mirror cache by design it doesn't need to have access, file system access to files that are served. Uh, mirror brain also has this option, but it is more like walk around and in mirror cache it comes uh, as core feature and also it, since mirror cache does not require to have access physical access to all the files that are served It is possible to spawn mirror cache instance in any, anywhere in the world and it brings possibility to have geographical cluster I will stop on it a bit later as well. So th this diagram shows uh, more about automatic scheduling of jobs. Uh, the main thing that it has background jobs and some of them monitor what's going on on the front end 
and if there is some request to unknown files, it will schedule uh, special jobs that will discover those files and register them properly and scan all the mirrors that are needed. Uh, so current state there is three pilot instances. One is uh, Europe with European mirrors only. Uh, one is with North America mirrors only, and one instance is kind of gateway that has all the rest mirrors. So whenever European or North America uh, clients request something from mirror cache open source org their request gets redirected to one of local instances and that instance will try to find a suitable mirror and all other countries will be served by mirror cache open source org there's also some community instance that you can try um, currently all these instances run in test mode, but there's no known critical issues. Feel free to use them for package updates. I do use them on my machines, in, in my tests, in uh, CI. I have nothing to complain. The only thing that they don't have powerful hardware yet and they are not optimized for high load. This is same, something to be implemented. And of course, when it's production ready, then most probably every continent will get own mirror cache instance. Uh, so in the best case scenario, requests from one continent will not leave that continent and will be served lo by local instance because currently machine in Australia, for example, in Japan, it constantly communicates with the uh, main server in Nuremberg and uh, which redirects them back to some of local mirrors, if possible. Um, so outside of uh, OpenSUSE infrastructure, Mirror cache can be usable also in some cases when mirror redirector is needed and when automatic discovery of what mirrors have is needed. So feel free to evaluate if you have such scenario in mind. This concludes uh, this short presentation about mirror cache. Special thanks to Mojolicious Web Framework and Minion Job Q. I found these projects fun to to work with and I, they bring